Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another YouTube video and in this video I'm going to show you how to break in a new baseball glove. So let's get started. So the method that I will be teaching you, you need a few things. You need a baseball or a softball. Obviously a baseball glove. A pounder or like a light um, weight. And a belt. Okay guys, so how to break in a baseball glove. So if you have your first baseball glove right here, this is an A2000B2, plain commercial model, super skin. It is about 50% broken in. So yeah, about 50%. Pretty much game ready. So yeah. So what you're first going to want to do is you're going to, right when you get the glove, you just want to like play catch. Play catch is the best way to break in a glove because it forms to your hand and it breaks in the glove exactly how you want it. The second step, like another thing you can do to break in a glove is pound it. So you're going to get a baseball or a softball. I have a baseball. You're going to put it in the pocket. You're going to close the glove like this and you're going to pound right here because if you squeeze the glove it breaks in right here so you're gonna want to put the baseball in here you want to pound right here right here all over here and then you're gonna turn it over and pound here reason for that is because this breaks it in better and it gets the leather pretty soft so you, you don't have to spend a month or two months breaking this glove in if you don't have a pro stiff and another thing is you're going to want like a softball or a baseball, depending on the size of the glove. I'm going to I'm gonna have a softball for this, but you put a softball in, then you tie a belt around right here. And then you like, you could put it by your bed or somewhere when you're not pounding or doing anything. And a lot of people like to steam their gloves a lot. I don't recommend that for a few reasons. Um, I haven't got this glove steamed. I probably never will. And I wouldn't have it steamed more than once because then it will dry the leather out and like you don't want your glove to be too floppy. So that is why you don't steam more than once. If you're going to steam once, it's okay. And definitely do not leave your glove out in the sun. That's like a terrible way. Um, it will not be good. Your The leather will get really dried out. And another thing is that ha once it happened to my friend, he was breaking in a catcher's glove. And his dad put a lot of glove conditioner on it and it dried the leather out. Don't put the, like a big amount of glove conditioner. Maybe once a week, once every two weeks. Like if it's getting dry, you could like soften, like put the glove conditioner on it. But if it's not. If it's like not dry, you don't put it on because it will dry the leather out very quickly, and that's what I've learned. So, yeah. So another place is you want to pound. So remember, you want to put a baseball in, pound here, play catch, and yeah, that is basically how you break in the glove, break in a baseball glove using my method. And another thing here. You can get a towel, but here's a softball. You can close it, put the belt around it very tight, as tight as you possibly can. Put a belt around it like here. Tighten it. And then you don't want to put your glove with the belt on without a softball or baseball. I would recommend a softball because the, the pocket will collapse. You do not want that. It will become very floppy in your... Nice glove will become trash, so yeah, always put a baseball or a softball in according to the size. If you have 11 to 11, 20.25, 20 recommend a baseball, you can have a softball, but if you have 11.75 and, or 11 and a half and up, definitely put a softball in because if you put a baseball in, the pocket could still collapse there, and a softball, it like really can't, so yeah, that's the method that I use to break in a baseball glove. Guys, I just finished recording how to break in a baseball glove. And yeah, that's my method. It works the best. I've had that glove for a few days and it's already about 50% broken in. So yeah, it's 
pretty good. And we just finished watching the one New Year's, like not the whole series, but like a few episodes. And it's really good. I recommend it. If you haven't watched the one New Year's on Netflix, go watch it. It's a great series. Guys, this is the list of ideas we I have for YouTube. Sadly, you can't see them yet. They will be coming out. Yeah. They'll be coming out soon, but you cannot see them. Guys, look at Leo. He got exposed. Doggos. This is like the million vlog I've done on a trampoline. Look at the nipples. <laughs> the oh, that one's red. It's like red sinners. Ha <laughs> 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 ha! Ah, I saw you run, saw you run, I saw you run. There's my dad. <laughs> There's my dad. Picking them weeds, though. Hosing off right now. Hosing off. He was trying to fix a broken sprinkler and then the mud and now. Guys, we're outside right now. And it's been a really boring day. What should we do, Mom? Do you want to go see Nelson Atkins Art Museum? No. Do you want to go to Gladstone, which is north of the city? We've never seen it. I don't want to go to Gladstone. Mm -mm. I want to go somewhere else. I want to do something fun, actually. What? Give me a category. Something fun, other than Gladstone and Nelson Askins. You want to pack the camp? No. I think we should go somewhere. Like Gladstone. Yeah. Do you want to go to Herman, Missouri? No. We don't know what to do, guys. There's something else we could go do. Is it the berry picking season? I don't want to be on your camera. Well, you are. eating. No. Hmm. I want to do something fun, actually. What? Give me a category. Something fun. Other than Gladstone and Nelkin Askin. Askins. You want to pack the camp? No. I think we should go somewhere. You want to go to Herman, Missouri? No. We don't know what to do, guys. There's something else we could go do. If you guys enjoyed this video of breaking in a new baseball glove, as always, guys, subscribe if you're new, smash the like button, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.